So it's time for another challenge to his home. Today we are making a red velvet cake and this challenge comes from Chris Mossop. Now I must tell you I don't really bake so I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, also this recipe I found on Sally's Baking Addiction looks great but it looks like it's quite a lot. So I'm just gonna half all the ingredients. Who knows, we don't know if it's gonna be good or not, so better do a smaller batch. Okay, we're gonna start with flour. So apparently we need, here it says three cups, so I'm just gonna go do one and a half cups. Baking soda, one teaspoon. I can already see this is gonna be a disaster. How the hell do I measure one teaspoon and then put half of it away? Uh, okay, I'll just do this. Okay, we've got this cocoa powder. Ooh, that's good. I feel like I like it more chocolatey. Oh, oh. Okay, well, last time I put salt in some baking stuff, it tasted terrible. So I'm gonna just like go easy on the salt. Okay, I'm just gonna combine this all. Using a handheld or stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, beat the butter and sugar together on medium high speed until combined. But one minute. Okay, I don't have that. I don't have a handheld or a stand mixer. I need to do sugar and butter together. Well, I'm gonna put them in. Okay, so if it says two cups, I need to just do one cup. This is baking with two is home. And as you can see, I don't do it very often. And also, I like to eyeball stuff. So, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm gonna tell Louis that I followed the recipe. Exactly. So don't tell. Basically, one time 50 and then a tiny bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna use this to mix it together, which I don't know if it's gonna be that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that went on the floor. Ah! Oh god, this is absolute amateur baking here. Sugar and butter are combined. Now, what happens after this? Add the oil and the egg yolks, vanilla extract and the vinegar. I'm not sure about vinegar. Maybe we want to vinegar. Now, it says oil. I'm actually gonna use coconut oil. So, if I can open it. Spoon of vanilla extract, so therefore, we're gonna do half a tablespoon. Mm, maybe a tiny bit more. Set aside egg whites, got them here. Yes, I'm gonna mix all this together with this. Okay, this is going well, guys. It does say. I'm 
supposed to mix these wet ingredients in with the dry ingredients with a mixer, but I don't have one. I think I'll just try and do that like with a spoon. Beat the egg whites till they're fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna do that first. So to be honest, that's gonna take a while because I've only got this and a bowl. Wait, actually I'm gonna transfer this into this bowl because this is kind of small. Those bingo wings are going, man. This is how people who bake don't have bingo wings because they do this all the time. And also I've just realized I'm supposed to be watching a Cactus Club Presents. And it starts in two minutes, so I need to like do this in two minutes. Cactus Club presents just on the side. Maybe like if it could be like to a beat or something, it'd be easier. Beat, beat, ha. And today's dingling workout is done. Yeah, Demi and Robbie are live now. Okay guys, I think this is, this is enough. Let's just put that there. We need to go back to the red velvet recipe. We need to combine this with this. These two into one. This is going over there. Hopefully it won't die. Demi and Robbie yeah. coming from my laptop. It's done! Kind of. Okay, now we're adding the food coloring, but they didn't have red. So we're gonna do pink. A few drops. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna combine these egg whites that I was beating before with this and hopefully. This will all turn kind of like a pinkish color. Okay, half a cup of milk. Can you see this? It doesn't look very appetizing, to be honest. Now, for the rest of this tutorial, which is ugh, not really a tutorial, I will put this batter into my cake dish made it in the oven okay guys so the cake is done it's in the oven but now we need to do the icing so we will see how that goes stir that sucker all that's left to be done It kind of looks good, but it doesn't look red. I think it's done. Yeah? So are we in Operation Salvage now? Yeah, flattening the cake. Oops. Oh no, it's still a little wet inside. What are you saying, Louis? Well, I mean, the outside tastes great. But? I feel like the fact that you confused Fahrenheit with Celsius and thought it needed to be at 350 degrees Celsius, so crank the oven. <laughs> Might have something to do with the fact that it's a little bit crispy on the outside and soft on the middle, like an armadillo. And it's not red! But 
It tastes pretty good. It tastes great. Nearly done. Woo! Success! Lost all my money on a Vegas wheel. They kicked us out of the room. Drove down to Whaley, shaking on a deal. Now we've got nothing to lose. Out on the road, getting lost, getting tired, but everything's alright. Okay. Well, here's Izzy's red velvet cake. She's decorated it with some fruit. Uh, and I am gonna have a little slice of it now. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Kinda looks a bit red and velvety, but let's see how it tastes. Pretty soft. Absolutely not bad at all. Not that I was expecting it to be. Yeah. Icing's great. Cake's great. So is the fruit. Win, win, win.